Hi guys. I just wanted to tell you guys that I'm still waiting for my copy of The Amazing Book of Summer Fire. So externally I might look like this, but internally I look like this. Now that that's out of the way, I can get to the interesting things that happened to me this week. So at the beginning of the week, I went with my mum and my two brothers to Lethbridge, which is a pretty big city a little bit away from where I live, to go to an orthodontist appointment. While we were there, we also did a bit of shopping, and so we went to the big mall up there. Now in the malls, they have like these little stalls that are set up every now and then, and it's for things like fixing your phone, and like credit card things, and things like that. But every single person that works at one of those little stalls is really attractive. But I swear that when they hand in their resumes, they have to like send in a picture or something of themselves, and the person that's hiring them like looks at it and is like, ah, yes, you are an 8 out of 10 at least. Yes, you're hired. But the thing is that when I go there, I always look at them because they're so attractive, and then I make eye contact, and then I have to look away quickly and pretend it never happened. The thing is, though, that it's making me realize how much I actually make eye contact with people. So I'll be sitting in class, and I'll just be looking around the classroom because I'm bored as hell in class. And then I'll realize that I made eye contact with somebody, and then I'll look away really dramatically, like, Oh, nope, I wasn't looking at you, I swear. Because the other person is probably sitting there like, what the hell? So that's kind of made me a bit self-conscious about when I look at people. Another thing that happened is that I have a class called Home Economics, which is pretty much cooking. And, well, I found a whisk, but that that's has nothing to do with this story. So I was sitting there and I was doing a nutrition worksheet when the teacher announces that we could each write down one thing that we wanted to cook and put it on a piece of paper and then put it into a jar at the front of the class. And then she would take that jar and she would pick out one of the pieces of paper randomly and then we would all cook that one thing. But of course she put limits on it, so like, we couldn't choose anything too expensive, we couldn't choose anything to do with seafood or that had nuts in it because of the allergies in the class. But then one of the guys goes up and says, Why can't we cook with seafood or nuts? And the teacher replied that it's because of allergies. But then he replied with, well, that's stupid. I mean, it's not like everyone's allergic. They're just being selfish. And I was sitting there, like, are you an idiot? Are you literally this ignorant? God, can someone be that stupid? I happen to be one of those people with the allergies. And that just made me so mad. I'm sorry that I was born with an allergy to peanuts, and now that's affecting whether you can cook freaking some gourmet dish in her mech class. I apologize for the fact that my life is getting in the way of your cooking. Would you like me to just go and eat a nut and die? Yeah, would that suit you? Oh, okay, all right. He was the one being selfish, saying that he would rather have somebody die so that he could eat good food than have that person live and he just gets to eat something else. People with allergies that don't want to eat a certain food or go outside during a certain weather are not being selfish, they're preserving their life. Now if I was a more socially confident person, I would probably have gone up and started arguing with him, but since I am a little socially awkward and not very confident, and he happens to be one of the cool kids, I just decided to sit at my table and continue my work and I shook my head. Yeah, and that's all that happened to me this week, so bye guys! If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, and if you really, really liked it, subscribe, and I'll love you as much as I love the Left Bridge Mall. Also, check out the two video links above to watch two of my other videos.